Hi and welcome to WEH Videos. My name is Skip and today I want to do a little introduction on the new Garmin 530 that was introduced by X-Plane in their 10.30 uh, uh, release. And so today we're just going to talk about the features really quickly and then in later tutorials I will go over uh, the functions. So the uh, 530 came with a couple of airplanes, an X-Plane 10, and this is their Baron 58 under general aviation. That's a fun plane to fly. And here's the Garmin over here. Uh, but they have a nice feature where you can click on it and it'll bring up the Garmin in a screen all by itself here. So you can put that anywhere you want if you want to keep it open while you're flying. That's quite nice. So I'm going to do a quick review and then hopefully in future videos I will go over all the features. So right now we're just going to talk about what's here on the left side. We have our comm radio and we have the standby frequency and we have the active frequency and we flip that right here. We do the same thing with the, the VOR localizers or VLOC we can switch between the radios between the VLOC and COM1 and then also we select the active and standby frequencies and down here we have what this VOR locked is so 108.4 is RDD and actually that's KRDD Reading Airport which is just as you can see 6.6 .6 miles away on a radial of 289 and down here we have where you set your radios so you have the larger numbers here that's up and down and the smaller numbers are here the push CV button on the outer edges is the minus and the plus and then in the middle is the select that's the buttons and the controls for setting your radios and on the right side we have the range buttons for the range on your display right now it's at 35 miles so we're going to just increase that range and then obviously this will lower the range back to 35 miles now here we have the direct to key and this provides um, access to direct function and then this allows you to enter destination waypoints and establish a direct course to a selected destination. The next button is the menu key and this displays a context sensitive list of options and these option list allows the pilot to access additional features or make setting changes which relate to the current displayed page. The next button is the clear key and it's used to erase information, remove map detail, or it to cancel an entry. And you press and hold the clear key to immediately display the default nav page. Now one thing about X-Plan, I'm going to click right now, and it takes quite a while for this to clear, five seconds or more. It should be a little quicker, I think. Anyway, you have three settings for detail in the display. One, two, and three. And the next key is the enter key and it is used to uh, approve an operation or complete data entry. So if you are entering some information this is what you will click to confirm uh, that you want that to happen. You activate uh, whatever process you're doing. Okay, next we have the small and the large knob the small knob is used to select pages within page groups and also pressing the knob momentarily displays the on-screen cursor and this allows you to enter data or make selections from a list of options uh, when entering data the small knight right knob is used to select desired letters or numbers and the large right knob is used to move to the next character in space and the large right knob is also used to select page groups so we have nav waypoint and nearest 
And with the on-screen cursor enabled, the large knob also allows you to move the cursor about the page. And finally, we have the buttons along the bottom with CDI, OBS, uh, message, flight plan, vertical navigation, and procedures. So that's it for this little introduction. Uh, I'll be hopefully coming up with uh, a more in-depth uh, tutorial on how to use uh, these features. So, thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please click the like button. If you would like to leave a comment, I would appreciate that. And thank you so much again for watching, and God bless.